What up, guys? We're here with TRHA Syndicate, and I'm with the boys What's right here, Adam. On? What up, Pedro? We back. What up, Elijah? You over there sick? And Raul. I'm literally <laughs> sick right now. <laughs> <laughs> Who are you and what you Adam do today? My Hi, my name's Jackson Madden here. I went to the uh, multiple box tournament uh, for Edison, and I ended up winning with fairies. Oh, nice, nice. Uh, how was the tournament for you? Tournament was fine. Um, what E3 says is true. Black Wings is basically a free matchup. True, true. I got um, waxed. Uh, Consecrated Light is uh, an FDK. Uh, my name is Jackson Madden. I am the owner of the Grind TCG. I am a shop owner in Gurney, Illinois. Uh, 401 401 North Riverside Drive, Unit 2B, Gurney, Illinois. In two weeks, on March 11th, I am hosting a 1K cash tournament. Entry, I believe, is $25. With uh, need, We need 30 players to be able to hit full prize. Uh, we hope to see everyone there. Uh, we run free Yu-Gi-Oh! locals every Tuesday, Thursday, Friday, and Sunday. Uh, the Tuesday, Thursday, and Friday ones are at 7 p.m. and Sunday is at noon. So we hope to see everyone there. It's free locals. Might as well come out and see what we're all about. All right, sounds good. We should check them out. All right, let's get onto the deck profile. So as I said, we're playing fairies. So I played three Shining Angel and three Nova Summoner. Most lists I'm seeing right now are only playing one of this. But every game that I'm literally losing or behind in tempo is because I don't have enough recruiters. If you don't have a recruiter in rotation, generally you are behind in tempo. And like every time I'm like, I need to draw a card, it's a recruiter. These cards are insane, maxed out. I wish I could play more. I, I would literally play like five and like three of these if I could. Okay. okay. Uh, next best card that makes the Black Ring matchup, the buy, a searchable True. DD Warrior Lady. Um, sure odds don't do anything. Sure, don't do nothing against me. This card is absolutely insane. Uh, what? So I got my deck list based on the RBT Ruler Champion uh, list. Uh, the guy who won with fairies, I think it was Pro Storm or Hydro Pump. I don't remember which one it was, but um, that's how I got this idea from. But what EC E3 says is absolutely correct. Uh, this card is absolutely insane in the format. It deals with everything. And the fact that it's searchable in engine without having to like play Rota or play cards that could be dead later are just really good. And the fact that you can tack with it, banish it, de-elk, and add it back. And I think I've been able to use the same DD Warrior Lady as Pressure probably three times. Then speaking of de-elk, I play three. Most lists only play two. Some play three. But I, I like more having more monsters that can be recruited into. And with being, this being able to add this back is just so insane. And then we play one of the only hand traps in the format, three orange light. Against light sworn turn one, being able to stop their milling. Being, I think I stopped two to three black roses just with this card. This, negate my blizzies too. Negate blizzards, negate black rose. Like, bro, you try to nuke my fruit. I'm like, that's cute. Anyways, we're done here. So, Let me just continue comboing. Will you recommend this deck for all those uh, fallen tier players that got hurt from the ban list? Um, in Edison, I do not recommend this deck list until you know the me the meta and the gameplay very, very well. Because this deck punishes you to no extent. It's right. literally like if you play Striker back when Engage was banned. There is no room for mistakes. All right, tier element players, you can't play this deck. It's not brain dead. No, it is definitely the least brain dead deck I've seen in Edison in a long time. Then we play two Christia. Uh, most of us play three. I think this card is very dead in the late game. When I'm in a top deck war, generally against like Blackwing and other decks i do not want to be drawing this card because generally i'm at either two to three fairies or like six and like while there is manipulation this card is only good when like you can like when you already have it not when you need to draw it and then to supplement this i play so two soul and purity light this card is so insane against black wings because their armed wing can never attack over this and it just allows you to be able to like draw more cards till you get to recruiters, DD Warrior Ladies, whatever you need. This card is so good. I love it. It's always, it's generally always live against, except against zombies because they just book a life for your graveyard and that is unfortunate, but then this is never live either. Then we play uh, two Honest. Dang. Before the errata, this said Damage Calc. Kalut is Damage Step. You never lose to Kalut with this. I'm just like, Damage Step anything? They're like, yeah, Kalut boost. I'm like, that's cute. Anyways, Honest. We're done here. But no, this card is really good. Uh, and then for one of us, we played one free. Never resolved the effect, but the fact that it was in there, I definitely wanted it because like, in case I'm like, 
some games I was like losing, I need this to be able to beat over a big monster. It's just very necessary. Uh, one Gores, I think I resolved it once against a Lysermon player, and then the one of Raikou. Um, the card's nice, it allows you to mill because I also play Call of the Haunted and other, and for uh, this card, it allows you to get Lysengrave. But it's also, um, I've had multiple scenarios come up where I went uh, Nobleman of Crossout, target the Raikou, banish, banish this, so that way when I normal the Dialk, no matter what happened, I knew I was always getting a card back, so Dialk wasn't ever dead. Because like if, D one time I had Dialk die, and I had nothing banished, and because of that, I, I whiffed twice on the DL, and because of that, I couldn't Orange Light, uh, destroy JD, and he ended up winning because of it. I'm like, it happens. I play two Book of Moon. I don't play three. Um, the reason being is because I don't have three ulties. Only reason. Anyway, uh, one Mind Control, one Brain Control. Absolutely love these. You actually do play a tuner, and most people are not expecting you to be able to synchro in this deck ever. But being able to, like, also just take them out, like, I've had it against a uh, Black Wing player where I mind control his Sirocco and it bait out the deck Devi to where um, a lot of my other boards I would have to do, like, take like a thousand damage to get a DD Warlord and then get deck Devi. But with this, it just baited out, it got it out right away. And, like, it, these are just so insane against, like, Raikou, Hamster, any set monster to be able to clear boards just to deal damage. And then the heavy MST, only spells really need in the deck. For the traps, we play Return. Card's insane. Uh, with DL banishing, DD Warrior Lady banishing, this banishing, this card's just always great. Uh, Call the Haunted, I do like it. I think I only resolved it once, but I like it to be able to, like, when you're in a matchup to where, like, you're both uh, top decking, this allows you to just get a monster from Grave and keep going. One Dust Tornado main, absolutely love the card. I wish I could fit more in the main, but like, you just can't. Uh, Trap Dust is insane, TT, uh, Judgment. I was told by a Lightroom player that this was the first, I was the first one ever to j flip Judgment against him. Card's nuts. Uh, Mirror Force, double Bottomless, and I know a lot of Fairy players are not playing, but I'm playing double D Prison. I really do, like while Blackwing is generally a good matchup, I just never want to ever surrender a game to that deck because generally early game, they might do more damage to you. And if you get, since most tournaments are new and a match procedure, you just can't go to time with that deck a lot of times. And I'm trying to close out games early. And on a lot of uh, a lot of recruiter decks against zombies, being able to like banish Mizuki is insane, banish goblin zombies is insane. It's just making sure that they don't have a graveyard. So I believe that is 41 cards in the main. Um, the magic number? Yeah, 41. Um, I have no idea how to cut it to 40. Uh, maybe D out to two, but like, I have no idea. Uh, Extract is a lot of cool cards that are cool, but I uh, never summoned, never summoned. I don't, as you'll find out in a minute, I don't play Cyber Dragon. I literally play it for your Cyber Dragon and other machines. Uh, never summoned, summoned once. Um, it did some work, never summoned. This won me the game against, um, what was it? I think it was Light Sworn or Zombie, one of the two. But this was able to pierce for game. Um, play this. I have no darts, so it's for brain control or mind control. Uh, Stardust. Uh, never summoned. Never summoned. I wish I had an Ancient Sacred Wyvern instead of this, but uh, never summoned. Summoned this a couple times. It was good. Summon this just to be a big beater, and then never summon. Uh, you don't really use the extra deck in this deck a lot. It's mainly for orange lights or brain or mind controls. But it's good to have the good variety because there was uh, three games that if I had zero extra deck, I lost. Uh, I'll admit it. Uh, side deck, double DD Crow. Insane in the zombie matchup. Good in the light swarm matchup. Great against frogs, which is a hard matchup. And then the card of the card of the day. Uh, play. <laughs> Love you, Luis. <laughs> Played against uh four Blackwing players. Um, this is just an FDK. They have to have Igris attack, and that's it. Even they book a moon it and then attack over with like arm wing boost. I still take no damage. That is why it has the last. Everyone's like, if you can't attack it, why do you still take no damage? Arm wing. No. Uh, one breaker for Lion Prison Mirror. Never, I got Lion Prison Mirror a lot, and I still never side this in against uh, all the Blackwing players because every Blackwing player flipped Lightning Prison Mirror against me, and I guess it never ended up mattering. Uh, double Thunder King cards insane. Absolutely love it. Wish I could fit one in the main. Don't know what to cut for it, but like this card is so good. Uh, one Soul Release mainly for the Light Storm matchup and the Frog matchup. Kind of zombie, but I don't think I sided this in against zombie. Uh, double Nobleman of Crossout cards absolutely insane. 
I want to play three, honestly, but like I don't have real room to be able to fit it. Uh, one Shadow and Prison Mirror. I don't think I ever really saw it. No, I saw it in one game, but was already winning that game. Um, MVP, more of MVP of the dice deck. Two more Dust Tornadoes. Um, I do not like back row. I like being able to push for 28 per turn and just doing damage. And I can't do that if you have better back row than I do. And then double pulling the rug. Never sighted it in, but I never saw any hero decks or any um, uh, frog monarch deck. My matchups of the day was round one Lightstorm, uh, 2 0. Round two, I believe, I went against Dragons. I got 2 1. He MST'd my MS. I went set two pass. He MST my MST. And then he was able to resolve Future Fusion, dump five, and then Gold Sark, banish D Fissure. And then game three, open bottom, Bottomless, D Prison, D Fissure, uh, Starlight Road. And I had heavy, but he had Starlight Road and um, was able to just win that game. Round three, win against Zombies. Um, I won because my opponent thought that th uh, Bottom was targeted and he made Thought Ruler. I feel bad, but yeah. Round four, I went against uh, my friend Pino here, playing Black Wings. I uh, won, I believe that was 2-0. Yeah, that was 2 -0. Yeah, scraped. <laughs> uh, uh, 2-0. Uh, round five, I go against Adam here, also playing Black Wings. 2 0 him. Got scraped. Damn. Uh, Consecrated Light was an FTK against both. Oh, the homies got scraped today. I mean, it's a pretty good matchup. Yes. Oh, yeah, against Tyler Pino. I had one out, and it was. Well, I also had Thunder King, but he didn't know that game, too. But, like, I had freed, and it uh, was the one out to. What was the card? Oh, yeah, Cyber Dragon in defense was my out for it. Uh, top eight, I went against. Me? Went against Luis here. Great, me too. Uh, 2 0, also playing Black Wings. So we're 6 0 against Black Wings at the point. Uh, top four, I go against Light Sworn. Game one um, was the DL play where I didn't have a fairy and he judgment dragon me. Game two, he bricked. And then game three, um, I just opened, I had like a, a D elk plus like bottomless D prison. Like he never had any extender plays, only normal summons. And every one of his normal summons, he lost to my bottomless, my book, my D prison. And um, he just couldn't um, stick a second monster. So I won that game. And then finals, I ended up splitting with Adam. The homie right Thank here. Thank you for splitting. We uh, all know mainly so he would. Um, uh, come to my uh, 1K, and that's basically about it. I'm trying to get people to come to the event. Because let's be real, Black Wings against Fairies, I'm probably winning that match. But, yeah. Um, Any shout-outs? Shout-out to my shop. Um, this is the second tournament I've ever played in with Edison. I played Fairies both times, and I won both tournaments with Man, zero playtesting both times. Kind of cracked. Um, my other one was a box tournament at the St. Louis Regional um, with the Who Needs Meta people. They're really great people. Love them. Th that finals, I also played against Black Wings. So um, I, I love the Black Wing matchup, apparently. Um, shout out to, to Luis for doing the deck profile. And shout out to anyone who comes to my shop. Appreciate Let's you guys. Go. Next week. No, in two in weeks. two weeks, March 11th, 1K, $25 entry, 30 people needed, and we're giving out $1,000 cash. Please come. It is a test of skill, though. Good to see you. All right. TRJ, send the kiss, signing up.